Hi guys. So it is, by the time you see this, going to be the day before Christmas. And I thought I would do a winter tag. This is a video that I was tagged in. And I thought it would be kind of a cute thing to do right before the holidays. So, I'm gonna pull up. so if you're curious about this tag, stay tuned. But before I say that, I just really want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Whatever you celebrate, whoever you celebrate it with, and even if you aren't celebrating with other people, make it the best day possible. Wear your smile all day long, no matter what happens. And if you're missing people that were a huge part of your life, which I know many of us do and are going through, think of those happy memories that you had with that person and let that embrace you this holiday season. So thank you so much for joining me and stay tuned for my winter collab tab. I was tagged by, at the time of this filming, I was tagged by Marjorie Burnett. So Marjorie, I'm going to link her channel below, and she has been on YouTube for a while, then she went off, she took a hiatus, she's back on YouTube, she's been doing the Vlogmas, where she's been doing a video every day in December, and she did this tag. Now I don't know whether, I don't know who created this originally, but she tagged me, and I thought, okay, I'm going to give it a whirl. So there are a number of questions here, and I'm going to read from my notes, from my phone. First of all, what is your favorite quote? You know, this is going to sound really awful, but my favorite quote, and I probably shouldn't say it, but when I'm angry, <laughs> is don't let the door hit you in the A-R-S-E on your way out. I know that sounds awful, right? I should come up with some wonderful motivational type quote, and I just... I don't have it in me because I, that is just what came to mind. It's a quote that I have used myself, but mostly when I use it myself, I use it with a smile on my face. Like if I'm really, you know, like I say to JJ and I at Clowning Run, I go, there's a door. Don't let it hit you in the ass on the way out type of thing. But yeah, I guess that's my favorite quote. I know that's awful to say, but yeah, she wanted to know me a little bit better. So there you go, Marjorie. Aside from the necessity, what is the one thing you could not go a day without? So aside from the necessities, I would say necessities would be including coffee. If it doesn't include coffee, I would have to say coffee. I, I have to start my day with coffee. And the rest of the necessities are my skincare and mascara. I cannot go without mascara. Even if I don't put any other makeup on, if I'm home, I'm putzing, doing this or that, I need to have mascara. But probably where she says, aside from necessities, what is the one thing you cannot go a day without? And I would probably say I cannot remember ever going a day without using my iPhone. Since I've had an iPhone, I, I've every day. It keeps me connected. It. I check on my mother using my phone. I check on my work email. It probably keeps me too connected, but I would have to say it's my, my iPhone. Number three, what are your hobbies? Hmm. Well, aside from makeup and skincare reviews in my YouTube channel, because I still consider my YouTube channel a hobby, I, I love doing it, even though sometimes I'm more lackadaisical, and I know if my channel were really to grow, I would be better and more consistent. But I, you know, I work full time and I'm not retired. If I was retired and I had more time on my hands, I probably could devote more time to just creating videos. But but I, I don't. So my, my hobbies are still my YouTube channel, my video creations. I love photography. But what I really, really enjoy is walking on the beach. The beach makes me happy. So walking the beach, going to the beach, looking at the water, watching the sunrise over the ocean, and or if I was on the West Coast, it would be the sun setting or whatever it would be. But I just, I love the ocean. I love the water. I am, I'm the type of person that I think no matter where I live in my life, and Jane, I've talked about this when, 
we retire and if we want to move south or we want to do this and that we have to be near both of us have to be near the ocean because that just pulls us that's just our drawer it's my happy place so when I go camping I tend to gravitate going to the ocean and more so than lakes or mountains although I've done both but yeah I would just have to say my hobbies anything to do with the ocean I just love it number four how do you prefer to exercise in the winter <laughs> Oh my gosh, so exercise, right? I have been trying super hard to, well, I shouldn't say super hard. I have been trying to lose weight. I, I found this past year that I gained weight and I gained weight because I got lazy. You know, I think COVID did a lot of us in. I stopped going to the gym, etc. cetera. So in, in, I don't really have one exercise hobby over another, but I'd like to get back into a gym routine that means I have to sign up for a gym and I haven't done that yet. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna commit financially to something I don't feel that I have the time fully to do. So I, I exercise at home. I have a spin bike, I get on my spin bike. Um, in the rest of the seasons, I get on my outside bike or I walk on the beach. That's my form of, ec or I walk in the neighborhood. I won't walk on icy roads. I no longer hike. Ever since I had an accident hiking, I don't hike. Um, but I do bike, so I would say right now my form of exercise, other than I wear an Apple Watch, I try to make my steps a day. I have a stand-up desk, so I stand up when I'm working. I try to move around a lot. I have arm weights. I try to lift arm weights, so I'm always trying to move around. And I think my Apple Watch reminds me of that every hour. If I'm sitting, get up. If I'm standing, you need to just take a walk around the building. So I, I kind of do that. Um, what is the last book you read? The last book I read will have to be Outlander. I've got a couple of books in my uh, Audible account that I haven't opened up and read yet. And there's a couple that I want to do. I want to get, um, I, I've got Prince Harry's, uh, I think it's The Spare or whatever it is. I have that on order. I have a couple of other things in Audible that I want to read. I am a fanatic on royalty. I, I just have always followed the royal family, British history, stuff like that. I've always just been fascinated by that. So I, it's heartbreaking because I don't like to think of Harry and his brother William going through conflict. I don't blame Meghan, I don't blame Kate, I don't blame anyone else. I wonder how much of it is manufactured between them. You know, um, I'm sure Princess Diana would just not want to see this division in her family, but I think she'd be happy for Harry to escape, really, the bounds, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, that's the book that I have I'm going to be reading next but the question was the last book so the last outlander novel i read it and listened to it in audible so that's how i do it um have you ever been snow skiing absolutely not in a number of years and i have no interest in taking up the hobby again but i when my kids were little we did a lot of skiing we would go to the mountains i live in new hampshire so we have mountains easy accessible and um, and I remember when Jay and I got together, I taught him how to ski and he chose to, you know, he said, oh, it's going to ruin my golf game. <laughs> so he never did pick it up that well. And um, we haven't been skiing together since he decided it was going to ruin his golf game to ski. What is your favorite soup? I, I like a lot of soups. I like French onion soup a lot. I like clam chowder. To me, that might be not a soup or a for most of you, but to me it is. Um, I love chicken soup, chicken noodle soup. I'll make, when I make a turkey or I make chicken, whatever I have left over, I make a soup. I make my own soup rather than opening up a can in general. I'm not a great soup maker, but my mother always made, she made bean soup, she made all sorts of different soups and always from the broth from whatever, you know, whether it was a turkey or a chicken or a ham or something like that. So I would have to say it's probably chicken soup would be my favorite. Um, let's see, favorite activity to do in the snow, now and or as a child? Well, as a child, I used to love doing snow angels, you know, lying in the snow and spreading your, your hands and your feet and creating snow angels. I think the last time I did a snow angel was in 2009. I actually have it on video. If I can find the video, I'll close it in here, but I'm sure I can't. 
Um, but it, I, I like that. Other than that, my favorite activity to do in the snow is to be inside my house and looking at the beautiful snow falling. I hate shoveling. I hate the cold. I hate walking in it. I hate driving in it. I'm sorry. I'm a poop about it. I'm not a snow baby. So I just, um, yeah, I, my favorite activity is looking out my window when it's snowing. Would you rather go ice skating or rollerblading? I've done both and um, none of them is what anything I'd rather do because I just don't feel like I have control if I'm on the rollerblades, if I'm on the ice skates. I just don't feel like I have control. So um, if I had to pick one over the other, I would probably pick rollerblading because it's warmer weather <laughs> related, but I really don't like either or of that either one of them number 10 mittens or gloves i am for sure more of a gloves person i like to have gloves on especially if i'm if i have my phone or something like that so for sure gloves number 11 hard book kindle or online i'm an audible person um and i think it's because i drive a lot i work and i like to listen to audio audio books on when I'm driving or when I'm walking, if I have a book going and I'm doing a fitness walk or I'm walking on the beach. So, so audio books for me is absolutely the way to go for me personally. But I also like, you know, podcasts. And that's the next question. Podcasts you feel the need to share. Um, I have a number of podcasts that I love, but they're, the topics might be not anything anyone else cares about. I'm a true crime yes crime junkie so I have probably about five or six podcasts that I listen to every week and then there are other podcasts that are a series that are ongoing as maybe um, the case has gone to trial and they're talking about what's happening in the trial and all that and I I really like the Piketon massacre it was a um it was, it was one family that there was a custody dispute and for whatever reason, and the trial is still going on, two of the members, the mother and the youngest son, pled guilty. And the oldest son and the father, the oldest son is on trial now, um, and the father is going to be on trial. Anyways, ultimately it was over a custody dispute between the youngest son and an other family in the community, a large family and the child that they had. And so Piketon Massacre, they apparently um, decided that the only way they were really gonna get this child in the custody was to kill all members of the family. And they ended up killing the young mom. They ended up killing her mother, her father, her brother. I think there were five or six people that they ended up, the Wagner family ended up murdering uh, all because of a custody dispute. So that's, that's an ongoing one that I've been listening to. Uh, but other than that, I love criminology. I love the prosecutors. Prosecutors has a second one out called Legal Brief. I like that a lot. Um, oh my gosh, I really have to think about them, but I have a lot, but they are all, they're all true crime. They're all true crime. Probably the cases that have riveted me the most right now is the Delphi, Indiana, the two girls. Abby Gail Williams and Liberty German, who were uh, on the on a bridge and they were murdered, and they just after almost six years, six years in February, arrested somebody and it ended up being a local person, a pharmacy. Of course, he hasn't been tried yet, so who knows? But um, the Piketon massacre, and of course, right now, all over everything in my podcast world is the murder of the four Idaho college students in their rental home, uh, off-campus rental home. They were murdered in November, the beginning of November. You probably have heard about this, but this is an ongoing case, so I've been riveted uh, with that. So podcasts, yeah, I've got a true crime mind. 13, favorite winter memory as a child. <laughs> um, favorite winter memory. I just remember we, we lived in Everett, Massachusetts when we came over to the States, and I just remember how the snow you know, how how much snow there was and shoveling and having fun and sledding down the hill that we lived off. Our street, Franklin Street, was a hill and we used to sled down and things were so much simpler back then. So playing in the snow would have been my favorite childhood memory. My mother and father, I don't remember that we did any traditions as a, as a child um, at all, but my mother and father, you know, they 
my my dad worked so hard to to give us everything that we he could possibly give us a better life and ultimately we moved to new hampshire and that's where our traditions really began because i remember the question number 11 do you have any winter traditions i i just remember as a child the magical um thing of 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 sneaking christmas morning going down the hallway and looking in the living room and seeing the presents and sometimes as a child i actually opened my presents and then rewrapped them mm. yeah that was a snoop but um favorite winter traditions jay and i love to look at and go to a light display so we will go to a light display i don't no longer decorate here um you know so we do that. We'll go out and watch lights. So we'll go up to Nubble Lighthouse. They light up the lighthouse on, on uh, in December for the holiday. So we love to go and do that. And then we stop by Great Island Common and we look out on the water. And uh, that happens to be where we spread my dad's ashes. So I always think of my dad now when I go there. But yeah, that, that would be Coast of Maine, Nubble Light, Great Island Common, and just walking around Christmas and looking at Christmas lights. Absolutely love that stuff. 15 cards of board games. Sorry, neither. My husband is really big into cards and used to be big into board games, but I've never been into any of them. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I would rather watch a YouTube video. <laughs> listen to a podcast or something like that. Today, when I'm filming this, Jay and I are supposed to try to watch Avatar. We went and saw Avatar 2, the new Avatar, last night at the movie theater. And I said I should have watched Avatar, the first one, again, before, so I would remember what was going on. But, yeah. So Jay and I spend a lot of time together, and we just don't play cards or do board games. <laughs> So I'm going to tag two people. Apparently I have to tag two people. I don't know who yet, but it'll be in the description box below along with the questions. Even if you're not tagged, if you want to do this tag, please feel free to do this tag. I think it's, I like tags. I think it's different than someone talking about skincare and products or wig reviews or anything like that. I think tags are fun. So if you want to do the tag, jump in and do the tag. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday and I will see you afterwards. Bye-bye.